yeah programmatically and uh, disease itself there is uh, I mean, not much uh, disease itself there is not much of a relation not at proof uh, see diagnosis of tb came down drastically because of covid 19 so fear of getting covid 19 if the patient is uh, visiting the hospital was there so patients were not coming even though they have cough resources and uh, manpower from tb got diverted to covid work so many of the tb workers they started working for the covid so TB work suffered and uh, frequent lockdowns, transport was not there. If the patient is suffering from TB, they are not visiting hospital, they could not visit. So this was a major impact on TB program. It has gone back some five to 10 years. So another uh, important thing is cough was there, which is both common to COVID as well as TB. So people used to get confused. And if the patient is suffering from cough, they are not interested to come to the hospital because they may get uh, isolated. So 15 days, they are not there in the house. So this fear was there in all the population. They are not coming. So they kept on coughing and they kept on spreading the disease to all others in the family as well as in the society. This was a major problem. And uh, that is the reason in the initial phase itself, government of India issued a circular. If the patient is coming for diagnosis of TB, they have to be checking for COVID also. And those who are coming for COVID uh, diagnosis, they should also be given sputum for TB checking. This circular was there in the initial uh, part of the uh, pandemic itself. So, so these things to some extent happened and uh, we could do some justice, but TB suffered uh, uh, a lot. Many of the TB patients, they could not come. They were not diagnosed. So they did, they died because of this uh, problem. The, is there any possibility of uh, interaction between the TB and COVID? So far, no evidence. The only thing that is, uh, I mean, uh, some uh, curiosity is the extra pulmonary type of TB is increasing. So extra pulmonary TB, uh, when it is increasing, uh, what is the reason? We don't know. Normally, we expect around 15 to 20 percent maximum. Most of the times we we have seen 18 percent around extra pulmonary TB as compared to uh, the pulmonary TB. Now it started increasing. So wherever there is more COVID, more extra pulmonary TB cases. So, so these are all things which uh, which are fodder for the future research. So, so far direct evidence is not there that there is a, a direct relation between these two diseases. So these are to be investigated further.